All right, after you animate all the legs moving up and down, uh, it should look something like this. We'll just slowly move up and down a bit. And since we have that, we're going to uh, go export it. We'll put it as feet. It's going to be an AVI again. All right, now that I have that done, I can delete all of these. It's all about saving space here. I'll copy the chroma key that we did on the body, AVI, and just paste that under the properties for the feet one, and it'll take out the same amount of green and it'll look on par with the body. All right, so there we got him. He's moving a little bit. But uh, what I want to do is bring him down here, match him up, resize him, get him to the point where he's, and the feet are the same size, in the same position. All right, I'm going to move these up, and I'm going to come up, and I'm going to bring down my shell PNG file. Make sure the shell is under the body and the feet so that it appears in the background. All right, I'm gonna resize the shell and reposition it so it gets in par with the crab. Okay, I'm gonna go over under video effects. I am going to go down to distort and I'm going to go to transform. And I'll drag that on to the body, ABI. And what I hope to do with that is move the body up and down so that it looks like he is moving as he's walking. So once again, I'm just gonna do what I did with the legs. I'm just gonna have the position change in the vertical format. Just go up and down every couple of frames. So I need to toggle animation on that and then just go through and make some keyframes of him moving up and down. All right, and after I do that, I am going to copy the transform and paste it on the shell. I'm not gonna paste it on the feet because the feet are already moving. And then we're gonna go up here and we're gonna get a pupil. And we're gonna create two layers, one for each pupil. And drag those out to 30 seconds each. All right, then we're gonna just resize the pupil so they fit in the crab's eyes, because that's where pupils usually are, in eyes. and we're gonna paste the same transform we used so that they will move in the same manner as the body and the shell. Okay, now we're going to make the crab walk. So in order to do that, we're going to click on the shell and we're going to go to motion and position and we're going to enable keyframes. And we're gonna decide where we want him to end up being about halfway through. I like him to be about halfway through the screen, halfway through the video. So he's gonna be walking, he's gonna hit the center around 14 seconds. So, now we're going to click on Shell, and we go make a keyframe for it to be halfway through, or halfway through the movie. All right, we're going to move the horizontal position in the negative so that the first keyframe will be off to the left of the screen.
Now make sure you know how much you moved it by and how much you subtracted. For this one, I moved it by 389 degrees. So I'm going to subtract 389 degrees for the position of each of my other things. And we're going to create keyframes in each video at 14 seconds. where he will be at the center of the screen. And then we just subtract through each one, but only in the horizontal field. And this will move him off to the side. And he will walk across the screen like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is put something in the background here so you can show that he is moving and continuing to walk. So for this, it can be anything. I'm just going to use another shell, same shell actually, and put that in the background just to get my point across. And you're going to want to make sure that that is behind everything else because that is where it would be if he was going to walk by it, behind him. Alright, make it a bit smaller, move it up, and position it the way you want it. It can really be anything in the background though, it doesn't have to be a shell. We want the shell to be off to the left at the end of the cartoon, so we are going to start at the end here and we're going to enable keyframes and position the shell off to the left in the horizontal. And then we're going to move back to the beginning and we will position it off screen to the right for a start point. You can do it either way, I just like to know where I end up before I know where I begin. And he will walk by and walk by the shell. And when you're done with this, you can add any type of sound effects you want. I find a simple tapping on the table works well as a walking noise and if you just snap your fingers you pretty much got his clicking of the claws down. Now this is a simple way to just make a cartoon in Premiere. It's how I started out. I've since moved on to other programs because things have become more available but it's always nice to have various ways of doing things. And I hope it gets you interested in making a few little cartoons. Uh, and I hope it's helpful.